Hello everybody and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today on this pretty awesome Sunday. I hope you're all having yourselves a really good weekend so far. And today I've got a replay sent in by Devil Gogo. And this replay fundamentally answers the question, how do I play Hindenburg? And not only that, but it also answers the question, how do I play a rune? These are two questions I've actually had reasonably frequently on uh, Twitch, on stream. Um, of course, as per usual, if you have specific questions that you want to ask me directly, uh, you can always hop on Monday through Friday on stream and ask me those questions there. Link is coming up on your screen now. Anyhow, what is the Hindenburg and how do you play this ship, right? What's the whole shtick, shall we say? Well, the German cruisers, especially right now at tier 10, uh, very, very good firepower, uh, good penetration. Uh, rate of fire is, of course, really good now because they've buffed it. Um, and then relatively solid armor as well. Now, the Hindenburg is ideally suited, shall we say, uh, in terms of protection to dealing with anything with 380 millimeter guns. Of course, you're in higher tier, especially tier 10, going to see a lot more ships with guns bigger than that. And yes, you are certainly vulnerable to a certain extent. However, there are tricks that you can use to mitigate a lot of what enemy ships can do to you. So the first one is, of course, staying a little bit further away, right? And if you stay a little bit further away from enemy ships, for them to shoot at you, you've got a little bit more time to react to what they're doing. That's one. Second, use your speed to juke a lot. So slow down, speed up, slow down, speed up. That's the second thing. And then, of course, angle yourself in the right kind of way. What do I mean by this? And the rune actually offers a bit of a hint on how to do this. And, you know, if you take a look at the way that runes guns are oriented, it really does kind of offer you a hint. The same is true, by the way, for Nuremberg and Konigsberg earlier on at the lower tiers. But what you want to do is you want to angle outwards. So you can see this sort of like angled outwards approach. See where the nearest enemy threats are? Like there and there, right? And you can see the direction that Devo is sort of angled the Hindenburg. You also notice that the speed is actually relatively low, right? Devil's not moving very, very fast. And he's going to sort of hold this position and he's going to sling HE left, right, whatever target really pops up that he can fire at, he's going to shoot at. Ideally, he's going to try to get fires. Um, but he's, you can see he, like how far he is away from a lot of ships. He's actually quite a distance away. If you were in Massachusetts, for example, there's a lot more closer things that you might be more comfortable shooting at rather than this one Hindenburg that's angled out away from you. That's quite a distance away. Now, in the event that somebody does shoot at you, right, there's a couple of things you can do. One, you can just simply accelerate forward a little bit and, you know, turn out. So make the uh, sort of the main belt armor or whatever just a little bit more sharply angled so it's not as easy for someone to uh, blap you into the vulnerable areas. Another thing you can do is, of course, simply just to simply do this, like reverse and then later on go forward, right? Like you can sort of do that. Sorry, that was at the bottom of the screen, but basically you can go forward a little bit, you can go back a little bit. Basically you're making yourself a very awkward target to hit. Like if somebody's aiming at you, they're like, is this Hindenburg really going forward or is it kind of going backwards? Eh, maybe forward, maybe back, right? And you're not going really fast enough in either direction for them to really easily tell. And as long as somebody screws up in their prediction, you know, you can have them whiff their entire salvo. Rune, remember, this is a Hindenburg kind of rune question. Rune is very similar because if you think about Rune's gun placement, two of the turrets are to the rear, right? And the same would be true for like Nuremberg and Konigsberg. Two of the turrets are to the rear. That's a lot of the firepower that's at the back. And the reason for that is they want you to do this. They want you to turn your ship, get more of that rear firepower into play, and then angle yourself in a way that you're not easy to clap. Obviously, if you're running into uh, enemy ships with, let's say, 380 millimeter guns, so things like uh, Alsace or Bourgogne or Jean Bart or whatever, then a Hindenburg can be a lot more aggressive in terms of angling just because uh, you have the auto bounce capabilities against 380 millimeter shells. Um, in fact, against those ships in the, uh, certain situations, you'd even be able to really rush them down. There's very little they can do to you unless they switch to uh, high explosive. Um. Other things to keep in mind, <laughs> other things to keep in mind, while it is good to um, really damage farm, if you see smaller ships to shoot, like destroyers or whatever, do shoot them. Um, there was one thing wrong with this replay, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, there's a weird like ammo bug right now where like it's showing currently that Devil is using armor piercing when really he's actually firing high explosive and then later on I think it switches to... Uh, high explosive and he's shooting uh, army piercing. It's weird. Like, don't trust whatever you see on the bottom. Just like watch what the shells are actually doing. Okay. Uh, that's probably a better indication. And that is, in a nutshell, Hindenburg's role is to kind of get yourself into a really hard to hit 
uh, position for enemy ships. Uh, do a lot of juking, a lot of small movements, you know, turn out when they're shooting at you. And then, you know, like if, if you annoy them enough and then they like kind of shoot at you, you know, you kind of juke them a little bit. If they're not shooting at you again, then, you know, go a little bit more aggressive, you know. And, and whatever you do, you're just trying to bring that firepower onto enemy ships all the time time okay so already not even i would say six minutes in uh devil's already at 106,000 damage so you know hindenburg can output that damage very very quickly you can also notice that like he's not really always focusing on one target he's kind of spreading it out a little bit and that's another way to sort of uh really annoy enemy ships is like you're on fire okay now that you're on fire and, and let's say i only got one fire on you and a lot of battleships let's say won't dcp on single fires i'll just let you burn i'll turn my attention shoot something else yeah i'll set them on fire times one times two. Oh look you dcp'd come back and shoot you some more so there's a lot of that like juggling around and that does allow you also to farm up a lot of damage. Um, Hindenburg can be very uh, damage farming friendly, shall we say. And you can see, hasn't really moved much. Devil hasn't actually moved too, too much, right? Like from where he started to where he is now, it's kind of in the same spot. Just sling HE, sling HE, sling HE, keeping the DPM in the fight. Um, and not an easy target for, uh, let's say, the enemy team to deal with. I would say that maybe uh, during the course of this fight, uh, in the early stages or whatnot, I think there might have been, I think, one, maybe two missed salvos against destroyers. Uh, but all, all in all, so far, Devil's doing a good job. And this, in a nutshell, is the Hindenburg play f for a huge chunk of the game. And in fact, if you play other German uh, cruisers, like, for example, like, let's say you play York or you play, like, Hipper, it's very similar. It's very, very similar. Like, check the armor profile, know what you're safe against and really utilize that wonderful HE that you've got and really annoy people, right? Stay a little bit far away from them so that it's not easy for them to clap you and then you just kind of plink shells at them. However, there is something to be said for later game Hindenburg. As the game evolves, Hindenburg gets progressively more capable of being aggressive. And part of that is, and that's not in every single game, obviously in some games battleships have the big guns and it'd be a little bit more scary to rush them, but in some games, let's say, where you have uh, super cruisers or whatever with the smaller guns, or let's say you've got a battleship with the smaller guns, as the game progresses, there are opportunities to rush in and utilize your torpedoes as well. Entirely possible. Um, so for example, and there's been situations where I've played Rune and had perfect opportunities to go and YOLO down, say, an Alaska plus a Bismarck. Not a complicated YOLO because those two ships, if I angle them correctly, cannot really hurt me, right? And so you have to know what you can deal with and what you can't. And the Hindenburg's armor does allow you to have some level of freedom against some BBs, although not all. In a case like this, where you have something like a GK, you've really got to be kind of smart about how you want to position. Although doing correctly, you can definitely hurt them. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there you go. You can see this. Good switch from HE to AP as the Albemarle over there has decided to offer a broadside. Very good decision to switch over to AP uh, if you get... Okay, well, no Citadel there, but that would have been a good opportunity to get it. Okay, and as soon as the Albemarle angles away, go back to HE, go back to spamming stuff, right? And you can see it's frustrating for the, the battleship to deal with him. He's not at the super comfortable distance, and he's also angled in a way. You can see, look at the angling, right? Like, always pay attention to the angling of a Hindenburg to, you know, the, the enemy target. Look at this. That is some annoying angling if you're a battleship, right? Um... This is also actually funny enough, if you think about it. This is kind of like high school math, you know, or is it middle school math, you know, where you're dealing with like parallel lines and angles and stuff like that. Yeah, you can generally, you know, you can generally sort of look at it and find those sort of properties and you can go, oh yeah, that's, that's an annoying position. If I was a battleship, I would be annoyed to shoot at that. Other things to keep in mind, and there's another thing. Hindenburg also has, and this is along with a lot of the other German cruisers, has turtle back armor. So in the event that you're YOLOing a bigger battleship with bigger guns, Hindenburg and the other German cruisers as well can do it. Now, of course, you can get overmatched through the bow against the, the ships that you're not safe from. But, you know, if you have to turn and get those torpedoes out at close distances, go for it. That turtle back generally will prevent you from being citadeled. Won't prevent you from taking massive damage, but it should prevent you from getting citadeled. And, and if you absolutely have to go, like, you know, turn out and give your uh, torpedoes out and whatnot, you can go for that. Um, still, try your best. <laughs> you know, it's, it's good to try to minim minimize as much damage as you can while you're going in. You know, and then, of course, you know, turn out to get those torpedoes off. And then if you can take damage, then you take damage then, right? But this is it. This is the Hindenburg playstyle in a nutshell. Always at a distance where your guns are working. 
uh, your DPM is in the fight. Like, think about the amount of downtime during this course of this game for uh, Devo. Just think about the amount of downtime, the amount of time that he hasn't actually spent shooting versus how much time has he actually been spending shooting his guns. And that is what you want to strive for when you're playing the DPM type cruisers. All right, so for example, if you're playing the super high DPM, like even the USN cruisers, right? You always want to be thinking, hmm, is there a way for me to keep as much of this DPM in the fight as much as I can? And like during the entirety of this game, like Devo has just been like pew, 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 pew. I don't think he's actually really stopped shooting, you know? Uh, 11 minutes into the game, 235,000 damage. Think about that. That's, that's an insane amount of damage, right? And just continuing to pepper everything in sight. And that's really what you want to do. And again, always paying attention to the the angling. Look, look at look at this angling. Isn't this beautiful? Like, look at this angling in relation to, like the, the the Kremlin or like the Massachusetts over there. Like, that's some pretty hard angling if you're uh, like a battleship to deal with. Because you know, and then again, the speed. Again, going backwards, going forwards, whatever, and just at a distance where it's not super comfortable to shoot at. And if you miscalculate the salvo, and the enemy ship just either keeps reversing in this case. Right? Or let's say you're assuming maybe he's going to go forward or whatever. You just screw up that calculation. The whole salvo is just whiff, right? And of course, if you hit the main belt and it's angled like this, all you're going to get is bounces. So a really prototypically good sort of example of Hindenburg play. And of course, the same lessons will apply to Rune because Rune is a frustrating ship. I've like, I know a lot of people get really frustrated with Rune because they're like, what do I do with this ship, right? Like, like, what's the whole point? And it's just this. It's it's staying in a, in a very annoying position, you know, getting your firepower out to the rear and just hammering, hammering, hammering until the enemy team dies. And that's really all you're doing. And, of course, there is going to be a situation, I think, I believe a little bit later on where uh, Devil is going to go a little bit more aggressive and he's going to push in and things like that. But just take a look at this. This is an incredible game so far. Um, 19 fires as well. <laughs> uh, right? Because, again, with, with Hindenburg, every second you're not firing your guns and you're not shooting is basically downtime. Like, you're losing damage, you're losing fires, you're losing all that, right? So you want to position yourself in this super annoying kind of way um, and then just keep your guns in that fight. Hindenburgs that do this are, like, super annoying. <laughs> I say this from experience because I hate it when Hindenburgs do this. Um, any, really any good DPM cruiser that has, you know, like the right plays figured out can be super annoying. Like ever run into like that perfectly played DM that's always behind like the perfect island? Annoying. Same thing, like have you ever run into like that perfectly placed Colbert? They, they're just playing that optimal type of role with their ship. And it's really rough to go against that. Anyhow, uh, I believe Devo is going to close the range here on this Massachusetts. I think if, if at all, there was only one other thing I might have, I might have done personally a little bit differently. Um, it would have been a little bit earlier, like when the battleships were all going like north a little bit at the time, there was a couple of cruisers and destroyers there. I might have actually like stopped shooting, like, you know, and I would have gone around, but that's much more something I would do because that's so just sort of more my own play style um, where, you know, if I analyze the map, I might think differently, but there's, like, if you want to be effective in Hindenburg, like, you can copy this play style because it's a lot easier to copy this. Um, <laughs> just find the right kind of position, angle the right way outwards, and just pepper. <laughs> just keep peppering the enemy team until they surrender. Because, <laughs> you know, you can do everything else in the game. And then, you know, the one guy that sits over there and gets 300k damage is regardless going to be a positive contribution. Even if, you know, you say, okay, you missed a shot on the destroyer here, you should have shot the DD there, or you should have shot something else. Th like I, I think the damage is gonna get three to like 300k here because you know the Massachusetts probably goes down yeah I mean like 287 right now and then there's like a little bit more damage to get over there on the album mall like I'm, I'm expecting like at least 300 something right now and it's like if someone is doing 300k damage even if they don't make the, the perfect shots on the perfect targets on the right times or whatever they're still contributing a massive massive amount of damage to their team so Yep, let's see, a couple more shots here. Uh, I think I, I, I think there's only like one other thing at this time to say is mostly like, maybe at this time, like try to turn down south this way and then like try to get more guns out. Like that's really it. I mean, I think that's what uh, Devil is doing here. Yeah, yeah, he is, okay. There we go, see? <laughs> Hindenburg in a nutshell. And uh, the lesson pretty much applies to now, if you're playing like a York as well, it, it'll apply. Play a Hipper, it'll apply. A lot of the game really is spent 
um, generally speaking, a little bit longer range, plinking HE off of enemy ships, annoying them to, like, just the ends of the world, <laughs> and just pissing them all off. And then um, late game, you know, depending on the situation and the enemy ships you're running into, you can become uh, more and more aggressive, right? So uh, as the game has gone on, you can see by now, um, he's starting to play just that little bit more aggressively, um, engaging things a little bit more closer combat. Of course, against the right kinds of targets, you can always transition to like hardcore rushes as well. But yeah, he's going to burn this GK down, already over 300k damage. So yeah, Devo, thanks for sending in this replay. Uh, very, very good prototype uh, gameplay on how do you play Hindenburg, uh, Rune as well, and in general, just like the German higher tier cruisers. Anyhow, folks, if you got any questions, leave those in the comment section below. So from all that, take care, have a good one, and I'll talk to all of you again next time.